Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today is a bit of an at home day. I'm spending 90% of the day just indoors in the flat today and then I'm heading out to London this afternoon for a meeting. I was supposed to be shooting today but the weather is just miserable, like absolutely miserable. I've had the lights on as well, I've only just turned them off because it looks really like yellowy behind me. But it's just so grey and so miserable today. So we cancelled the shoot. Thank God that I'm usually like a bit ahead of myself so that I'm not struggling for content or anything. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit annoying. We're hoping, like fingers, fingers crossed that we're going to be able to shoot later on this week. But I've looked at the weather app and you know when it's just like rain cloud, rain cloud, rain cloud, rain cloud. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just do a bit of a chilled at home vlog today. Um, we've got some homeware bits I want to update you on. I've been doing a bit of shopping. Um, and I got a new shelf, which is really exciting. So I thought that we could style that up together. I love styling shelves, you guys know. I freakily freckly love styling shelves. They're just my favorite thing to style up. I don't know what it is about shelves, but I just, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of on the agenda today. Um, it's gonna just be a cozy at home vlog today. So get yourself a cuppa, get yourself a blanket, and let's go. Oh. So, I've got this little cozy setup because I wanted to show you a few things that I have been buying for the house recently. So I did a bit of a H&M haul. Um, now, in our flat, it's very much both of our tastes. So I know that a lot of people, like their partner's not really bothered and kind of just lets them like buy whatever and they're like, you know, it's fine, I'm not bothered, you just get what you like and, you know, I'll deal with it. We're not like that at all. Alex very much likes to have a say, um, which I quite like actually because it's kind of tested me in like my style. Um, I think if it was just me, this flat would be very white, it would be quite boring. And I've really started to delve into my interior style and learn about things that I didn't think I'd like and actually I really, really love. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. That being said, there still have been occasions where I've taken the joint card and been like, by the way, babe, I've bought some stuff from H&M. And he's like, okay, um, sure. So it's one of those where like, often I'll buy things and show it to him. And if he doesn't like it, it will be returned. But 90% of the time he does, just because I think I'm now like knowing our styles and knowing what we like. Um, so yes, that was a bit of a ramble, but I did a bit of a H&M home haul. So I thought I'd show you some of the pieces that I picked up because I really, really love them. Like I'm really excited about this. So first thing, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing from the haul. I don't normally do favorite things like first. I feel like I need to build up to them, but I can't not show you this. I love it. So this is a um, ceramic vase from H&M Home. And as you can see, it's like a half face, very like Greek mythology vibes going on here. Um, you know, kind of resembling all of like the ruins and stuff and the statues. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit worried that Alex wouldn't like it. Um, I feel like it's kind of a Marmite item. Like you either love it or you hate it. My mum absolutely hates it. She saw, I, I sent a photo of it to her and she was like, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. So thanks for that, mum. Um but I love it and so does Alex so that's all that matters um but yeah I brought it home I was a bit worried that he would like it and he saw it and he was like oh my god that's so cool so I was like yes I can keep it so yeah this is from H&M Home um I can't remember the exact price I will link it down below but I remember it wasn't actually that expensive like it was quite affordable for like I think it looks quite expensive it looks like you could have picked it up from like a boutique in London um, and I actually saw this on Kate Levy's home um, and I saw it start up on her shelves and I was like I need I need that in my life so this is my little man face we need a name for him guys can we come up with a name please because he needs a name okay the next thing that I bought is something that I've wanted for a long long time and it's a is it a hurricane jar I think that's what these are called I might be wrong and you might be rolling my eyes at me but it's one of those things where you um put the candle inside and you can like smell it um so yes bought this um we've got a like black white and gold theme going on um i used to be so obsessed with copper and like rose gold and now i'm a bit over that i just think gold looks really classy at a home 
um, and looks a bit more expensive in my opinion so yeah we've kind of gone for a bit of a gold theme and I love how it looks so I'm planning on putting I think my Jo Malone candle in this just because I absolutely love the smell of my Jo Malone candle but I never actually burn it just because it's so pretty and so expensive that I'm like I don't want to burn you um, so I think I'm going to put this in here so that I can just like get a waft every now and then I can just walk past and be like yes yes please more candle related stuff so this is a scented candle from H&M. I'm not gonna lie, it's really annoying me that this sticker isn't straight. Like, it's such a little thing and I'm not gonna return the whole candle just because the sticker isn't straight, but come on guys. It's really setting me off. <laughs> um, but this is a mahogany scented candle, number three. Oh my God, it smells insane. It's like a proper, like I've never owned a black candle before like this, um, but it smells really good. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what mahogany actually smells like. Like the only piece of mahogany I think I've ever had in my life is when we, I was little and we had a piano. But it didn't exactly smell like mahogany. So, yeah. It smells really good though. It's quite like deep and dark. It would be perfect just for like a cosy winter night. Snuggled onto a blanket just to burn this. I think that would be really, really nice. Um, and I think just black paired with the gold... I just really like how that looks together. Okay, the other things I bought. Can you hear that? <laughs> I bought some Christmas decorations. So our tree has already gone up. <laughs> I don't even care, that's not December yet. Like, it's Christmas to me, it is Christmas. And also I feel like the build up to Christmas is better than Christmas itself. So why not just enjoy that build up for as long as you can? So yes, our tree is up. I will be showing you that in a minute. Um, and I will be decorating it with some of these new pieces that I bought. So this I think is my fave. It is a little wreath of bells and they actually jingle. I love it. Um, so our color scheme that we've got on our tree is gold and red. Very classic. I just think it looks so timeless. It looks gorgeous. Um, we were debating between gold and red and gold and silver, but I just think Gold and red is just so classic. You can't go wrong with gold and red. So yes, I love this. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I just love that it jingle. So next is this really, really cute little ornament here. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see these, but I'm gonna show you them on the tree in a bit anyway. So, um, and this is just a little gold acorn. I just think he's adorable. I, I just love him. It's actually quite like weighty. Um, so we'll see how the branches on the tree hold up little guy this is just a little gold mistletoe which i think is really cute it's really classic um and i just love it okay and the last deck that i bought for the tree is my fave if you've ever seen the polar express it's a little set of two um jingle bells and they genuinely look like the bell that he had on the Polar Express that he lost that Santa finds for him. And it just gives me all the feels. So yeah, this comes in a set of two. Um, and I'm just gonna put them on the tree. I'm gonna put them up separately around the tree because I think they just look really cute individually. So yeah, those are the things that I picked up from H&M Home. Um, it was just little things to like start implementing our star around the flat. Um, I think I said this before in my moving vlog, um, but what I really love about this flat is that we're really starting to implement our own style into it. Uh, the last place that we lived at, it was our first flat. Like we've only ever lived in shared houses before with like like furnished houses. So this is the first place that we furnished ourselves. Um, and it's, in our last flat, it was just very much like practicality wise. People were like giving us old furniture that they had. So we kind of just used it because we were like fab you know, we can't afford a bookcase right now, so we're gonna just use this old bookcase. Um, whereas now that we've moved into this flat, we're very much implementing our own style into it, and we're not just using things practicality-wise, um, we're using it because we love it, and because we, you know, have invested in it, and we're starting to look at what we love, um, and what really kind of reflects our style. So I'm having so much fun with styling up this flat. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it so far, so. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I'm loving it. So something that I almost forgot to show you guys, which I think this is like the peak of adulthood and like just everything that is pure. I can't even fit it in the frame. We got one of the Dyson cordless vacuum cleaners yesterday in the Black Friday sale. <sighs> I mean, if this isn't like adulthood, then I don't know what is. 
Um, but I've wanted this Dyson for like literally years. It is obviously the best vacuum cleaner out there. Not that I'm biased. This isn't sponsored or anything. Like we literally just bought it with our own money from John Lewis yesterday. I will link it down in the description box if you want it because they do actually have a really good deal going on in the Black Friday sale and they're selling out really quickly. Um, the lady we were talking to was like, honestly, every day they're almost completely sold out and they're like restocking it every day. Um, so if you are interested, then be quick to get them because they're going really quickly, just because the deal is so good. Um, and if you have had your eye on one for a while, then I would definitely recommend utilizing the Black Friday deal. I, and if you have had your eye on one for a while, then I would definitely recommend utilizing the Black Friday deal. Um, but honestly, I'm so, so excited. So before we literally just had like a really cheap little 40 quid Hoover from like Wilco or something. And it was fine in our old flat where we had quite cheap old carpet. This flat's got really nice, like thick carpet, which is fab. But it meant that the vacuum that we had, you'd literally go over it like six times and it still wouldn't hoover it up. So it just wasn't powerful enough. So this excites me so much that this one is finally powerful enough to like properly vacuum everything up. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like even better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm so excited about vacuum cleaner, guys. Who even am I? This is very much needed right now. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, please. Okay, so the two things that I wanted to show you were, first of all, this IKEA shelving unit um, that we bought, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, but also... <laughs> We've got the Christmas tree up. I'm so excited. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through them both. Um, basically, I really wanted, I saw these shelves from Ikea a little while ago and I thought they'd look really, really good next to our dining room table, which I'm not even going to show you because it's covered in stuff that I'm planning on styling the shelves with. Um, but I'm absolutely love, it's like black metal here and then it's like gold on top. So I think it's designed for like kitchen, dining room kind of vibe i really really like it i think it looks really cute um and then the tree that we picked up it's looking a bit bare at the moment because we don't have that many decorations on it i just picked up some filler baubles in the red um and then we're just trying to decorate it i'm going to put the new baubles that i bought from h&m on um and also i think we can be styling up the shelves today because they're just looking very bare and i want to get them styled <laughs> Okay, so those ones have gone on now. I absolutely love how they look. We've got the little wreath of bells. I've put one of the little, I'm gonna call them the Polar Express bells there. The acorn's gone at the top and the mistletoe obviously needs to be near the top. Um, and then there's the other bell there. So that looks really cute. I'm so happy. Um, we have got a few other decks on here already. So this is a stunning like embroidered snowflake that my sister brought back from i think it was amsterdam or norway something like that she's traveling all around europe at the moment so i'm absolutely in love with that um and this is a really cute little lion that i picked up from just like a little independent store uh, in romsey um i absolutely love it alex has a big tattoo of a lion um so i got that for him because i thought it was really cute um and then also this little guy who can you believe I picked up from Primark. He's so cute. I think he looks like really expensive. Um, and yeah, and then obviously we've just got those red filler baubles. So I'm wanting to get a few more gold ornaments because at the moment it's looking very red um, and I want it to look a bit more gold. Uh, the tree that we got as well, it's one that has the lights built in already, which was just fabulous because we didn't have to worry about like, you know, wrapping the rags. I think that's the biggest, biggest ball ache when doing a tree. Hello again guys. So I have just spent the last hour or so doing emails um, and admin and all that boring stuff. I am actually really proud of myself. So I never had my emails in a folder. Like I literally just had them all in my inbox. Um, so, and it's just been getting a bit stressful at the moment. So I've just spent the last hour literally just like organizing them all and creating different labels for them so I know exactly what emails which um, and creating a bit more of a database um, of my contacts and emails and everything like that just so that I can kind of keep it in one place because I often get emails from people and I'm like huh 
Um, and then I'll go back and be like, oh, this is what you're talking about. So yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit more organized in my emails because when I'm not, it just gets so out of control. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do a lot better at keeping it all manageable. Um, and yeah, I've also just been replying to loads of emails, especially because Christmas is coming up. It's such a busy period. Um, so I would just like to say that if you see a lot of your, like the bloggers that you follow and your favorite influencers or creators or whatever, if they are putting a lot more ads up than usual, please don't get annoyed about that because number one, it's our job. Like you get 90% of this content for free. We don't get paid for it. So these odd jobs are first of all, what is lets us do this for a living. Um, second of all, remember that 99% of influencers would not recommend something that they wouldn't buy, spend their own money on. Yeah, um, just want to say that because there will be a lot of ads going up from myself and from all the other influencers that I follow. And I never really feel the need to apologise for it um, because it is my job. And actually for me, it's so exciting. That it's like, oh my God, this brand loves me so much that they're willing to pay me to produce this content that I've been producing for free for the last six years they're now gonna pay me for it. Um, so I think it's just pretty amazing. My God, my arm's getting tired. Um, and yeah, just support all the influencers that you follow and all the creators and just tell them how amazing that their content is and what, what great job they're doing with all these paid ads. It's very stressful um, creating paid ads. I know that obviously, when I say stressful, I don't mean like saving your life stressful, but I do mean there's a lot of requirements and targets that you need to hit. And it's not as straightforward as just creating, you know, a, a a normal organic photo um so yeah just show them a bit of love and tell them what a great job they're doing also talking about stressful times and um creating content and everything like that i've realized how how bad this cut is on my lip um and if you're wondering what it is this is really gross but basically when i get stressed out i like pick my lips um so it's really funny because people can always tell when i'm stressed out because i have like scabs on my lip that's disgusting i know and i'm really really sorry uh, but just to address it in case you're wondering what this like black mark is on my lip basically stressed out ellie has been picking her lips and they've bled i really need to just stop that's so bad i apologize now that that little ramble is out the way i thought we can style up the shelves um so yeah these have been looking really really bad um and i thought that i would finally style them up i will try and link as much as i can in the description box below um obviously i it's difficult because there are some things that like i may have bought a little while ago but i know how frustrating it is when you're watching a youtube video and you can't shop things so even if it's not exactly the same i will find something as similar as i can and i will link it down below so let's get into the shelf styling no, I'm styling, I already need a coffee. <laughs> Second coffee of the day. Whoops. So, it's weird because one of the main things that I do whenever I style things up is I just look back and stare at it for a while. Um, so I'm gonna try and like do that as much, as little as possible or cut it out as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I kind of just, the way that I go about it is I just kind of play things up um, and see how they look, see how the different textures and styles and things work together. Um, it's kind of just a bit of trial and error. I have like a few things that I like, that, um, that I've had, like put out, which I think would work well on the shelves. Um, and I'm just gonna see how they work together. So yeah, my favorite man, who needs a name. Um, I love him. I think he's just so cool. I like that, that's cute. This is my fave bonsai tree, um, which I got from Matterland Home. They kind of gifted to me. Um, and I just love how he looks, like everyone thinks he's real, which makes me happy. And I just think he's really cute. I quite like that it's like that. Yeah, that looks good. I always like using books as well, um, just to kind of, I don't know, I think that books are just such a great thing to use when standing up, or books on magazines, anything like that. Coffee table books, novels, you know, anything that you've got, I think, Looks cute. I like that. Oh, I just love it. I love it. Just don't do with him. See, as I said, it's just a bit of trial and error. Um, see what goes together. See, I don't like that. That is it's too short. That needs something a bit taller. What have we got? Oh, I've got. 
got my little Eiffel Tower that I got when I went to Paris a few years ago. See, that works better. That's cute. I like that a lot. And we've got some more magazines, of course. Yeah, I like you. I like that. I feel like I need some kind of bookends for those there, but I don't have any. So that might be something that I need to keep my eye out for. If anyone knows anyone that does cute bookends, I might have a look on like Anthropology or Oliver Bonus. But other than that, I think that looks really good. I am so dead chuffed with how that looks, especially with the Christmas tree beside it. I think it looks so cute. So yeah, I've put my Jo Malone candle in the, the hurricane jar, if that is what it's called. Um, and that just looks really cute. I've got my little man there on top of my blogosphere's. And yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. I thought I would just show you today's very chilled at home outfit. Um, so it is freezing outside. As I said, the weather is just miserable. Um, so I'm wearing this River Island cable knit jumper. Um, it's quite cropped, but I just tucked it into this high high waist pair of girlfriend denim jeans they're kind of like bell bottom jeans um they've got like a slight i wouldn't say they're completely bell bottom but they've just got a slight flare um which i really like and they are just so comfortable um and really really flattering so yeah and i've also put this little headband in just because when i'm working the last thing i want is my face my hair in my face my face in my hair my hair in my face um so i always just wear like a hairband or something just to get my hair out of my face. I just wanted to show you a bit of a DIY project that I did recently. I say I. I had the vision. <laughs> Alex implemented it. Um, but it was just to add these little knobs onto the chest of drawers. Um, I want to show you like in the mirror but this room is an absolute tip right now. Um, so <laughs> it's these. Um, I got them from Amazon. They're really really cheap and I got like a pack of 20. Um, and yeah, literally we just screwed through it. I won't lie, it was a bit of a bitch to screw through because it's obviously the cheap um, sawdusty stuff, whatever it's called. Um, so it did make a right mess. Um, but I think it's worth it. I think they look really cute. And obviously I did this ages ago, but I just added some marble adhesive to the top and it looks really cute. So yeah, I just love how it looks. Please excuse the complete mess behind me. Um, but I think it looks really cute and it just makes it look a bit more like an actual um, vanity unit rather than just some drawers in a corner. So yeah, I love it. So I thought I would finish the vlog here, guys. Um, I'm now heading into London, so I need to like make myself look a bit more presentable because I've gone for really minimal makeup right now. Um, and comfy clothes so yeah i need to just make myself a look a bit more business ready um because i do just have a couple of like meetings that i need to attend to so i hope you enjoyed the vlog uh thank you very very much for watching um i know that it was just a bit of a an at home kind of boring vlog um but these are the kind of vlogs i love to watch um and i know it's boring but i just love being at home um and i love interiors and i just love this kind of stuff so i do hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video bye i know i already signed off but i just wanted to give you another little look of our tree because nothing looks more magical than a christmas tree at night i just absolutely love how it reflects in the glass um, and also when we're watching TV, we can see it reflected in the TV. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that again because it makes me so, so happy.